Okay, so we're going to begin with uh, the left-handed fiddler. Uh, we're going to include this note at the very beginning. This is called an anacrusis. Okay, so this is a beat before the bar. So how's that going to work? Well, we're going to count in the missing beats of the bar. And this is um, a half beat. This is a quaver. So what are we missing? Well, we're missing four, three, two, and then one. So how does that work? Well, I'm going to set my metronome to uh, 50 beats per minute. And I'm going to count in the missing beats. And then we're just going to pick up on an open G. Okay, so we're going to just, we'll, uh, just play that open G. Okay, for the rhythm counting, we, we're just not going to, we won't say this and because we'll come in there. Okay, so it'll go like this. And we're gonna start with an up pick as well. So this is just so that we can understand how this anacrusis works. Okay, so let's try this. So I'm gonna uh, count in the missing uh, beats of the bar and we're coming in on and, like this. So one and two and three and four up. <laughs> That's it. So one and two and three and four up. Two and three and four up. One and two and three and four up. Okay, so that's the anacrusis. So for now, forget about this because we're just going to work on this first bar, but we'll include uh, this when we start playing the, the notes. Okay, so how do we rhythm count this? Well, if we look at the notation above, it's one and two and three for this crotchet and then a four and, okay? So say this with me after four. One and two and three, four and one and two and three, four and one and two and three, Four and one and two and three, four and. Okay, so let's translate that now to a picking pattern. So it works like this, where we have uh, the quavers, we have the up, that's the and, so down and up, that's one and, two and. Here's our three, but no and and then a four and and. So you've got two downs there. So I'm gonna slow the metronome down to 45 and we're gonna play this all on the G string, okay? So just pretend they're all Gs and we're just gonna play out this rhythm that's written above, okay? So starting after four, one and two and three, four and. So down, up, down, up. wrong three and four okay so we should be all right with that and ready to move on to the next part okay so a thumbs up if we're okay with that and let's do this okay so what we're going to do here is uh, we're going to be playing rhythm strings okay so this is going to be quite difficult so all of these, uh, top ones are gonna be orange, and then let's uh, go for a nice blue here. I'm gonna run out of colors soon. Red here, okay. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna slow it down to 40, and we're gonna work through this picking pattern now with these open strings. And now we're going to include as well the anacrusis, okay? So we're gonna be coming in after the four and including this anacrusis, okay? So I can redraw this box just to, so you know what we're doing.
Okay, that's what we're doing here. Okay, so we're coming in after four, starting on an up pick on that G string, okay? So three and four. <laughs> Okay, cool. So that's uh, sounding okay. So we're going to move on now to adding fingering. This is where it starts to get pretty tricky. Okay, so we start with our third finger on the G string. Okay, but it's positioned on the seventh fret. So just while as I'm writing this in, position your third finger on the seventh fret and play play that note so you know what it sounds like and while I quickly write this in this is going to give you a little chance to to work on some of these um, these notes so obviously if your third finger is on the seventh fret then you just need to place your second finger just behind it to be on the sixth fret okay And we'll have this is an open, then it's first on five, open again, and then we come to that third finger. Okay. So uh, some things to remember as well, where we have the this opportunity to hold down fingers, particularly here we're going to bridge. And also, we want to hold down this seventh finger as well. So we're sustaining this chord here. Okay. So we're going to try this really slowly. So position your third finger on the seventh fret of the G string to begin with. That sounds like this. Okay. Remember that you're starting on an up pick here as well. So we're going to start after four and we're gonna try and play through this, okay? After four, three and four. And then slide. Three and four. Moving here. Three and four. Moving here, three and four. Move on that open string, three and four. tip here as well going from this third finger here uh, or this third fret to the seventh all we need to do is we just position our second finger here 
on that G string, slide up, and then place your third finger on that seven. Or you know, equally you can do that either way. But that's just a, a little pro tip to help you get back to that seven on time. Okay, so we're gonna try that again, uh, one more time at this speed. And give us a thumbs up as soon as you think you've got it. Okay, so starting after four, so three and four. Great, so what we're going to do is we're going to speed this up slightly, just five beats. So I'm going to give you another count in, coming straight in after the four, that's on the and, yeah? After four, one, and two, and three, and four, up. Four. 
Okay, knocking it up another five beats. Okay, so after four, one, and two, and three, and four. Three, and four. Okay, and this is now our last speed, target speed. This is 50. After four, one, and two, and three, and four. Three, and four. Three, and four. And four. Three and four. Three and four. Three and four. Three and four. Hopefully you're okay with that and ready to move on to the next bar. So just take a wee break and we'll see you in the next bit.